Hi guys. Good evening or good afternoon wherever you are. Welcome to the webinar today. Okay. Okay, we just wait for a couple more minutes for everyone to turn in, okay? And then I will start the um, session for today. So today it's go I'm going to talk about harmonic uh, pattern. Okay, you guys share, can share with me, any one of you guys are uh, using um, harmonic pattern to trade, all right? How are you guys doing so far? Can you guys hear me? Where is my... Ah, good morning. Good morning, okay. Where are you from? Good morning, because my time zone is um evening, okay, <laughs> loud and clear, all right. My side is 5.30. Okay, wow, I've never been there, 11.30, okay, that's still morning. A few of you guys joining. Any one of you guys um joining the webinar for the first time? Five thirty from Philippines. All right, it's the same time here in Singapore. Yes, evening. Yes, nice to see you here. Yeah, first timer. Okay, all right, guys. So if any one of you guys the first time. And you guys don't know about Fibonacci level, you may get confused, okay? Because today's section is about uh, harmonic pattern, which is actually they are using the Fibonacci level. So, okay, you let me know, okay? If you get confused, I will try to go it slowly because like I say, but if you guys are first time and then you already know how to draw Fibonacci and then I think that shouldn't be a problem. All right. Okay. Wow, that's quite a number of you guys first time today. Nigeria, wow, that's far away. <laughs> okay. First time, a few of you guys first time, all right. Okay. So these are for S1 trading. Um, okay, so basically for the thick meal, we do the webinars, I think every once a week. Okay, so basically we start from the beginning and then you know all the topic like, it's like from the beginning until the advance, I believe. And then um, if you guys miss certain, um, like section or you did not attend uh, like before like i say today section you guy might get confused okay but again i think we will do repeat on um, the topic one in a few months maybe okay just want to like um tell um some of you guys who the first time today like i say if you guy already know the how to use fibonacci then that should be a problem then should not be a problem today but if you guys do not know, like don't know how to draw Fibonacci, today you may get confused, okay? Because I say how many pattern, basically they are use Fibonacci level, okay? But it's okay, if you have any question, you can ask me, I will try to go it slowly, okay? Okay, I don't want to give you kind waiting. Again, guys, welcome to the webinar today, okay? So today I'm going to talk about harmony pattern. If you guys already know um about this topic, you can let me know. Like some of you guys is still first time. Welcome to the webinar and please join the next webinar. You will learn something because we will I will share with you guys those like technique, even those like beginning for the beginner or at once. All right. So before I go um like go to the, the section, this camera first, okay. As usual, guys, remember that everything in this um video is education is education in nature. All right, nothing should be construed as investment or trading advice. 
if you guys want to trade, please do your own due diligence before you guys trade. All right. Okay. So about myself, you guys, some of you already know, some of you are not know. My name is Peggy. I'm a trade analyst at Ever Frozen Group. Be a partner with Big Mill, which is you will see me or some of my colleagues every once a week. All right. We are finalists for the best. Epic Research in 2019, 20, and 21, and the finalists for the best equity research in 2020 and 21. Actually, I myself am a prop trader as well, okay? And today, what I'm going to cover, which is um, what's our harmonic, different type of harmonic, okay? And then we will be going to um, read the market structures, which is recap, and how exactly do you read harmonic pattern, okay? Okay, so what is harmonic? All right, so basically, um, like I say, harmonic pattern is a reflect geometric price structure, which is follow um Fibonacci level. Okay, and we use harmonic pattern, um, you know, to find the unique price movement, or actually, we play the reversal zone. So basically, if you guys already know the harmonic pattern is something like that, right? And then for the um, we wait for the price. This is a D, for example. We wait for a price to reach a certain level or to complete the harmonic pattern, and then we will um play the sale order over here. So basically, harmonic pattern is also about um, uh, trading. Uh, reversal, wait for the price reversal and then we will either place the buy or sell order but how to trade I will show you guys later okay and some of the um uh, uh trader okay actually they are also use harmonic pattern for fine or to place the take profit and stop lot all right and harmonic pattern also can help you to attempt to predict the price movement in the future. This is why um harmonic pattern is different from other maybe um take uh maybe like um technique right. And also, harmonic pattern is allow you to buy any moment, which is for example, if you think that okay, that is like they're going to form like A B C. And then maybe you say, okay, this is my gonna be, for example, gonna be like maybe bad pattern, and then you will place the buy order from here. That is kind of like more like at one if you you guys already know how to trade, or they also can tell you where you're going to place uh stop lot or profit actually, um based on Fibonacci confluence zone. So basically, okay, so different type of harmony. I'm going to cover. I'm not going to cover all like today. Okay, so basically that is um five um pattern. We have gutle, crab, bat, butterfly, um cipher, shark, and crab. Actually, we have an alternate crab as well. It depends where the D point is ending. Okay, just basically like six pattern, but I think the most common one is like bat and butterfly and crab. Okay. So just go back to the basic, okay, if some of you guys already know or don't know, basically um harmonic pattern actually is a A B equal to C D. Okay, so maybe this is some of the uh, like the table you may chart. Let's say if C point retrace 38.2%, basically D will ending with 261.8%, which is B C extension. And what you can see here, A B equal to um cd basically uh, the distance of a b will be sorry okay a b if you have to get a cd or d point which is actually is cd the distance is equal to a b that's why they call a b equal to cd pattern okay so if i draw um like here okay what you can see here actually it's a a harmonic pattern right x a b c d all right so you see if i draw from here i need to x okay x a b c d so basically that um the table you just have to remember or you cannot remember that is okay sometimes i cannot remember everything i just print those like the pattern or type pattern or whatsoever number on my lid on my table and then, and then you know sometimes I cannot remember I just have a look and then you know help me to memorize so basically this is a common one which is um let's say if the C point which is this one okay 
is retraced 61.8%. Usually, D point will be ending with 161.8% of uh, BC extension. Okay, so um, I will try to go it slowly because there are going to be two sections, all right, for the harmonic pattern. I'm not going to like um, put everything in one section because I think that going to be quite um like a lot of things for you guys to remember but let me log into trading view just give me a one sec sorry i think i just now forgot to um sign in okay um uh -huh. Okay, so uh, give me one minute, okay. Okay, so okay, so basically what I what I mean by um like uh Okay, like A, B equal to, let's say this is A, okay. And B, okay, B. And what is over here, they say that, um, where is my... Just give me a while. Um, over here is my slide. Okay. So here they say that um let's say if C retrace 61.8 percent and BC extension is 161.8. What does it mean is like okay, you draw FIBO. Where is my okay? This FIBO. Nanchi. Okay, A to B. Okay, I pull out all people. Um okay. Let's say if C retrace a point, okay, which is retrace here, sixty one point eight percent. Here. So B C extension, how you get C? Okay, here. I remove that. Okay, BC extension, you'll use um, A, B, how you get C. Okay, first, they say like A, B equal to, how you get the delay, right? So basically, you use this one. Okay, this is the range first. Okay, this is the, right? You can either you copy like this. Okay, and then you'll get the D point. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's okay. Um, D here. And then one, you get D. Or you can use BC extension from B to C here. BC extension is, you see, 161.8%, which is that's why it's called here. This one. Okay. All right, here. So this is why they say A, B equal to C, D. Either you can use the distance from A to B to get a D point, or you use B, C extension, which is your draw feeble form. You use the extension from like... um. Okay. Huh? Uh, oh, sorry. This is the... Hmm? 
anyway. So extension from B, C, and then you get extension, right? Just now I draw one more time here to here. And then I go to Ofib. Okay, this is one one six one point eight percent BC extension. Okay, here. All right, this is what I mean, how, how you draw. Okay, so back to our slide. Any question? I see. Okay, hi, welcome to the webinar. It's okay if you just join, I just started. Okay. And then you can remember this, let's say it's C point ending, um, retrace 78.6% BC extension 127. This is very common one. So if you cannot remember everything, it's okay. So basically, if C retrace, how to find the retracement, you draw from A to B. Always draw from your left to the right. Okay. Yeah. They retrace 78.6%, which is here, this level, okay, 78.6%, okay. BC extension is okay, let me move this on first. This is C, okay. BC extension, which is B to C, uh, is here. One two seven point two here, which is this our D point, and this is the one. And what's about if you measure somewhere around here, and then you cut. Yes, you see exact somewhere here. Okay, that's why B C equals to A B equal to C D pattern. Okay, and when you see C from here, right? Like I say, the harmonic, if I go to draw, like either like here, this is an egg. That's why this is something like um harmonic pattern already. If you draw this as X, okay, it could be here or could be here, something like that, right? Okay, okay, back to our slide. Okay, okay, like I say. How to find the A, B equal to C, D, I already tell you. The C will determine the ending of D point, which is this, the one, okay? And the D point, you can draw Fibonacci extension from B to C, which is from B to C, and then you get like the D leg here. Or you can measure from the rank A to B to, to get from here to here to get like the D point, right? You can measure. Or you can use Fibonacci expansion as well. Like again, the ending of the D point should be like the D point if you want to trade like reversal um zone here. There should have support resistance uh, for the confirmation if you want to trade like reversal zone. Or they should have like demand and demand and supply zone somewhere on your left. And then you can, you know, play the sale order over here. Okay. There might have confirmation. Okay. And how many patterns? There will be like two. Actually, it's retracement and extension. Okay, so whatever retracement we have, we see we have gut leg and bat. Okay, and for how many extension? Extension meaning whatever above X level, like D. Okay, you will have like alternate bat, which is D will be ending with like one one three percent and we have butterfly and we have crab okay all these three is extension and all these two is um retracement all right and c is had to retrace at least 30 percent cannot go below a point okay c cannot go below a point all right and how to find the PRC zone or potential reversal zone. Like I say, you can use like XA and then you will get like the D point, which is our extension. Or you can use a BC extension, which is BC, which is you draw Fibonacci from B to C, like just now, then you get like extension. Okay, remember I draw just now. Or you can use like, you know, um AB equal to CD, which is, this distance from AB and then you press and then you will get the uh, the D point, all right? Okay, so now I'm going to talk about bad pattern. 
how it by pattern work, which is okay. Actually, bearish or bullish is the same. I mean, the the level is just at the middle of each other. So basically, how you get a bad pattern is B point. This is the B point. Okay, should retrace between thirty eight point two percent to fifty percent of XA. Um. Let me let me let me uh. Try to draw for you. Okay, you give me one. Why I cannot? Uh, uh, um, you can see my slide, guys. So far, um, well, let me see. C can you guys see? Can you? Can you guys see my slide? Because it's over here, it's asked me to already zoom. Okay. Okay. I try to copy like this. One way I cannot. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, um, that is the... Why I cannot anyway? <clears throat> okay, so I try to like copy this, but it doesn't allow me to do. Okay, let me just remove. Okay, what's over here? They say that um bad pattern. Okay, I try to do the uh bad pattern for you, for example. Okay, over here. Okay, they say B point should retrace how you draw to get the B point here. So basically, they say that B point is drawable from X to A. Okay. People, I go it slowly. Okay, here. B point, which is this one, have to retrace. Um, No, not this is bad, bad, bad. 38 to 50 percent which is here in this case we just say okay it's retrace 50 percent okay these are 50 percent okay you see these are 50 percent of the b point okay and the c point it um, retrace between 38.2 and 88 point how you get a c point here okay you draw a fibo from your a to b okay i um off it okay like uh, you guys cannot see from A to to B. Okay, the C point have to retrace whatever cannot go below C point. Okay, it can. Like, I zoom for you to see. Okay, maybe make a bit bigger, right? Make that's now too small. I also cannot see. <laughs> okay, it's retrace between. 38 is okay, whatever until 88.6%, okay, but cannot go below A, okay, in this case, it's retraced at 78.6%, it's okay, okay, it's like that, okay, I think I will just remove, okay, yeah, okay, and we already get a C point, what about the D point, D point, either you can use um the retracement, okay, because um this is um harmonic pattern is a retracement, right? So you draw X to A and then um eight point six, I think that's wrong. Let me change my um eight point six. Okay. Okay, it's ending 88.6%, okay, 88.6%, you get D point, which you draw X to A, and then retrace 88.6%, that's how you get the D point, or 
you can use the extension between BC extension, BC extension, which is 161 to 261.8%, which is BC, we draw FIBO from B to C here, like here, right here, my ending here, okay, but I see higher here. And BC extension, which is, they say between, This is a BC extension bed. So this BC extension, okay. So 161 to 261.8. So in this case, what you can see that, okay. This is our PRC zone, 81.6%. Okay, what you can see over here. Okay, 86 here and here. So meaning this is a conference zone. Basically, this is our, maybe somewhere here. Do I have a template? It's our PRC or potential um, reversal zone, okay, here. Meaning that when the price come here, we will have the pending uh, um, sale order over here, okay. Basically, the uh, PRC zone will somewhere have a Fibonacci confluence. In this, in this case, we have 88.6%, and then you can see that the, for the extension, uh, B, C extension, which is D point, is have 200% here, like up with 88.6%. So this is our PRC zone, okay? Oh, there is a question. Would there be a copy? Um, there is no copy. Um, um, I think for the Tigme, we don't have any copy after the webinars. But about videos, I'm not so sure. I don't think they upload on the like um YouTube. Okay. Okay. So this is a bad pattern. Okay. So basically, this is bad pattern, right? I, let me go back to the um the slide, which is here. Okay. So just now it's a barely bad. So this is a deep point just now, right? We have um, eighty eight point six percent, and then D point is somewhere like two hundred uh percent, and then you place the sale order here, which is um, uh, we wait for the bar uh for the sale for the bullish bet. Actually, the um, the number is same. It's just uh, the middle of the bearish. Okay. Any any you guys can follow, so far okay, right? <laughs> I will try to go it slowly. Okay, what's about the alternate bet? Actually, the alternate bet is um extension. How many extension? What does it mean is that what just now D cannot go above X level. That's why um retracement at 88.6%. But in this case, whatever go above X1, usually D will ending with the one one 113% of XA. So basically everything is the same. It's just that um give me here. Okay, D point for the bet. Now we're going for alternate bet, right? So basically alternate bet, which is um X. I delete first, okay. If um X A. Okay, I go for all people. Okay, ending with one three one here. Okay, this is alternate bet, which is D point is go above X point is it extension? It's one one three. Oh, one one three. You can see right over here, and what they say. Um, let me see. Okay. And they also say that you also can find D point use a projection between 200 and 361 of BC. Okay. Actually, you also can use a BC extension from B to C. Okay. And then you get alternate back here. Okay. You don't get confused, right? Is somewhere like over here. So basically, our PRC zone should be somewhere here, 
like this with Susun. Where is my okay? The PRC zone here. They say that the protection. If you guys know Fibo and you guys are uh, no ticks, right? Actually, the harmonic pattern is just have to find a confidence zone and then you place the buy or sell order based on Fibonacci level or Fibonacci confidence. Okay. Let's say 200 here to 316, so somewhere here. Okay. Confidence zone is here. This um PRC zone over here, okay. Okay, let's we go to our slide. Okay, alternate bat. Okay, what's about butterfly pattern? So basically, let me just go to the information first. The rule for the butterfly is B should retrace. 78.6% of XA. A, XA, and then you get the B point, 78.6%. How you get the C point? You can see the same. You draw Fibonacci from A to B. You get the uh, retracement between 38.2 to 88.6% of A, B. Okay. And the D point, okay. Either you can use um extension, okay, which is 127.2 to 141% or 141% of A, B. Okay, A, A, B, and then you get the um, um, extension. Okay, I will tell you how to draw. Okay, how are we going to find a butterfly? Okay, it's over here. Okay, this is you want to use how many? Just go here, yeah, and then you just put the XA. Um, so basically, um, butterfly is I just used um, um, bellies. Okay, maybe like here. Okay, so make it bigger. We do the. Okay, they say how to get a B point. Okay, you draw people from X to A, like here or your ending here. Okay, they say they have to retrace seventy eight point six percent of XA, so you get a B point here. Okay, seventy eight point six percent, and C, how you get the and there's a C1, okay, which is X to A here. Okay, I pull all of it ball. Okay, let me remove 70.6%. Have to retrace between 38, whatever, from 38 here. Could retrace here, anything between 38 to 88.6% here or anything around here also can okay between like this one to this level okay usually the c point will be retracement between 38.2 to 886 percent then you'll get a c leg or you get a c point okay one you get a c point how you get the d point you use fibonacci extension which is you can use um, I think that should be extension, which is should be X A. Okay, I think that will be wrong. That will be X A between one two one and four four one four one two, which is one hundred and seventy two here. Or it could go up until here. Yeah, okay. Or you also can use um BC extension. BC extension. Okay. Let me move this one first. BC. Okay, I draw B 
to C point, which is here. Okay, but I move a little bit further here, but the level still the same. BC extension for butterfly, which is this level. So potentially this is our, this zone is our PRC zone. Okay, here is our PRC zone. Okay, this is how you get the um butterfly pattern. And again, the uh when the price come here, what you mean like if you price come here uh, on your left here, they might have um demand and supply. Like if you want to trade like the confirmation, they might have like demand. We like uh, the, for your PRC zone here on your left over here, that should be like um either um. Like you have live with resistance because we waiting to um to say right resistance or demand and to be like demand zone. Did you note know, in this case that will be supply zone, okay? Because we are waiting to to sell to be resistance level. Mutilation level or supply zone. Okay, here some on your left here, and then it light up with like um Fibonacci level, which is somewhere here, and then you create the sale order at this level, like somewhere here. Okay, this is our uh potential uh reversal zone. Okay, and. Let me go back to the slide. Okay. Okay. So basically, for just now, I did the belly butterfly, right? You wait for price to come to end the depot, and then you have the pay the sale order over here, or bullish same ending is the depot, and then PS uh PRC zone, and then you place the buy order somewhere here. Okay. What's about crap? Okay, so basically, ah, that is wrong. Um, uh, that is not uh, something wrong with my what is my mouth? Okay, crap. This is not crap. Why doesn't allow me to eat it? Okay, my apology. This one is not um that lay. Okay, this is a crab pattern. Okay, so basically for the crab pattern, um, B have to retrace between thirty point two to sixty one point eight percent of X A. So basically, you draw fibo form like X to A, and then you get a B point over here. Okay, and a C. Point should retrace between 38.2 to 88.6 percent, which is A, B, and then you get a C point. Okay, you draw it from here to here, and then you get a C leg. And D point is could be extension of 161 of the XA. You get an extension, which is the D point, or you can use the extension between B, C extension. Okay, you can get these two number. Okay, how you going to get? For example, okay, I make a bit bigger. Okay, okay. What they say is that, okay, you draw view from X to A. I go for OFIB, okay. Here, starting point is always hundred percent. Okay, in this case, why you see that is like that, right? In the um people fib retracement over here, just in case you can choose to see the value, or you can choose to see the percentage. Maybe in this case I change to percentage because over there I put percentage, right? It depends on you. 
or like over here, you can choose to show like eh? uh, what this I do here. I think my mouse something wrong. Uh, anyway, okay. So in this case, I just put the percentage for you, okay? They say SA, you get the B point, which is B point retreat between 38 to 61.8%. Okay, so here is the area that it can be retreat, which is this one, 38 between 38 to 61.8%. Then you get the B point, Okay, here, and what's about the C leg? How you get a C leg? Which is here, okay. You draw people from A to B, and the C leg have to retrace between 38.2, can stop here, or until 88.6 percent but c cannot go above a point like cannot go like that okay if go until like this this is not the uh, harmonic pattern okay it could be here or could be here in this case i just put at um somewhere here okay it's still within and then how you get a c point or how you get a d leg you can get the extension of x a so basically X A, you draw people from X, okay, X to A here, okay, X to A. The extension, whatever number is above hundred percent, we call extension. So extension which is one six one point eight percent, which is here, okay. Um, okay, here, one six one percent of X A, or you can use B C extension. You draw people from B to C, like here, okay, here, or FIP. Uh, okay. They say that between uh, 61.8 to 361.8% here. So I already have my um, crab BC extension crab is here. So you see like that. Meaning that this is our PRC zone. This is our PRC zone. Okay, this is the zone here. Yeah, and then you wait to buy over here. Okay. Any question? Oh, there hope somebody asking me. Uh, let me see the chat. Uh, we can apply position. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, harmonic pattern. If you just um all the Fibonacci, you know, um extension or projection, like you know, line up together. For example, I want to see here, and then I want to draw projection. I want to get the projection. So I draw projection from X A B. Then C. You see C. Is somewhere have um let's just say like, put the percentage yeah? okay you see we have then just now I have the BC extension here okay what you can see over here this 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 one also okay here could be ending either here or oh, we have like um we also have the like extension of x to a like x to a here x to a we have uh one six one point eight percent um is here you get what i mean in this one i draw i have fibonacci extension which is one six one which is here and then I do have a position which is whatever near sixty one point eight percent which is position is this number right one for one point forty. I don't think I have a template over here. Um, let me just untick. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. 
two, two, four. Okay. Okay. You see, six one point eight percent, and we have like two one four point uh four is a protection. Okay, you get a D point, and we also have um uh basic extension with somewhere here or here. So basically, you can say this is either here or here somewhere here is our in this case we choose here because it's nearer okay this is our prc zone okay here all right this is a prc zone for the um in this case for this one yet you can apply protection okay it's a belly clap or is belly clap or belly butterfly what, what do you mean Barely clap or barely butterfly. It's it's different. Barely clap clap or barely butterfly. Barely clap is like this. Um, clap clap clap. Oh, I wrong one. No, let me see. Here, clap. Oh, do I? <laughs> It's a belly clap, not belly butterfly. Wait, let me see. Why am I here? Let me see first. I'm getting confused now. Um, I'm still at the clap, right? Yeah, it's a clap, not where is my butterfly? Clap butterfly is here. Okay. No, in this 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 one is the um this one is a bullet clap, sorry, not 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 uh bearish. This is a bearish. Should be bearish, bearish. Bearish butterfly for this one. Okay, this is a bearish butterfly. Bullish, sorry, bullish. I keep thinking of your bullish now, and then we wait for price to come in and then you buy. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Any particular pair where this appear and so Oh, okay. Actually, um, there is quite a number of um. If you trade with those like um, how many pattern? I don't think I have the um for example, but oh, but like last time, like I say, like I thought, I thought for example, but I haven't. Um, tissue. I thought this could be like gutle, like something. This is. I thought it could be like that, but because it still haven't yet, so I have. I need to wait to see. Okay. Um. Maybe for the next webinar, I will find. I will try to find the example of um for the uh harmonic pattern. But yeah, but that that is a pattern. But for what I can see now or potential to have the harmonic pattern, which is uh XAU USD for the gutle. Okay, I will show you guys later. Okay. You can use percentage other indication if the stock is going to retrace. Um you mean the Fibonacci? Like I say, the Fibonacci level, right? When you use like that, it's either it's up to you, okay? You want to see at the value or you want to see at the percentage. You can just go to setting here, okay? I move here. Either you use the percentage, that will change the percentage to you, includes the, the price. Like you want to know, okay, when the price is reached 8.6%, the current, um, what the number, I mean the current price is like 2,098. If you don't want, they will just show the percentage only. Or you don't see percentage, you just value. The value, you also know that is a 8.6%. It's up to you, like, you know, which one you, like, um, prefer. You want to show the price, you can. You don't want, you just untick. Or you percentage or you just show value, it's up to you. But my case, I like to look at the value, which is, I know that actually is a percentage. You just want to change something like that, okay? Or if you guys uh want if you guys want to see how I use my um level, okay, you can just um copy, I mean capture and then you can just do like that. Okay, this is for my feedball for um harmonic. Okay, or or this. 
you can just maybe copy and then uh, like capture and then you can just use how we can implement in how we can implement in trading with the light chart okay i will show you the for the cut later i think i can i can um see what's best what's bad but the value or the percentage oh i just answered already it's just up to you you prefer to see value or you want to see percentage actually it's the same it's same just like your reference only okay okay so uh maybe i go one more for that lesson i think i saw the um the the potential to be the gut lay over here okay so for the gut lay pattern uh just back to my slide uh okay so basically over here they say gut lay pattern okay they say that b should retrace about 61.8 percent of xa okay and the c point should retrace at least 38.2 percent to 88.6 percent of a b okay um the D, which is the D point, this is wrong. This is wrong, okay. It's here. Have to retrace 78.6% of XA. And then you can use a, a BC extension, which is 127.2 to 61.8% of the BC extension. So basically, how it look like is here. Since I already saw this uh, potential for the daily time frame okay so i see that they say x a you see the x to a okay i will use the fibonacci x to a here they say retrace 61.8 percent in this case they retrace 61.8 percent is somewhere here okay and you get the c Point X B and then C have to retrace between 38 to 86.6 percent. In this case, they retrace here, so it's okay. Okay, it's still within the range. And now we get the A B X A B C. We have the C now. We wait for D to complete, meaning that it doesn't mean that okay, you think that price is going to be bullish. Okay, we just see, okay, that might be potential that price will go up to finish the D point or not. And what we can see, let's say if the price come here, how we get the D point? Um, X, A, and D point, D trace 78.6%, which is here. Okay, um, here, 78.6%. Uh, 78.6% or you can use BC extension which is B C extension okay BC extension this is really a number because um, I use a percentage okay okay you see 127.2 and 61.8% in this case, this is our PRC zone or the zone that, you know, have people confidence zone here. And what you can see on your left, this is your resistance level, the wick and the body here. Okay, so this could be our PRC zone here. That potential for the long term, I don't know when, okay, the price could come up to one... 1960 to 1965 or 66 somewhere around this zone okay and then we will wait for to like sell from here okay like here i mean like this zone like you done your sale somewhere here somewhere this zone and order here so um again i think that what I can see here that if you look at the market structures, now we're going to look at market structures, right? Price is still, we cannot decide, but what we can see here is like from here, 
try make a lower low, lower high, lower low, and lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and they make a higher a higher low because just you know it's not the low here. So I think that they might uh, you know change the momentum like something like that to become. Or maybe they can come here and then you know change doing the up chain. I don't know. It's just that what you can see here, they could not make a lower low, they make a higher low. Okay. And now we still see whether they will like reverse from here to go up to somewhere this zone. And what you can see here, this is also like you were to draw this uh, resistance level of H on daily time frame, which this is actually, this is one, and this is another one. I just should do that too far, somewhere here. Okay. Again, if the price comes to here, you need to wait for confirmation. Okay. What I mean by confirmation, you always go to the lower time frame to see the rejection, price action, or chart pattern. Okay. Okay, guys. Any questions so far? Okay, I'm going to launch the poll. Um, the that will be the continue of um, um, past two. Okay, because I did not cover all because I think that will might be too much. So I'm going to split into past one and past two. I think that gonna be like next next webinars. Okay, again, if like you guys miss or you. Some of you guys did not know how to use Fibonacci, you just go and learn. Okay, because if you master Fibonacci, and actually um, for how many pattern, it's just all about Fibonacci line up together, and then you just place the order, buy or sell. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I think we always, um, okay, for thick meal, for the thick meal for the um teaching one gonna be gonna be me and with my colleague I think um that will be the schedule right um let me see. Oh, yeah, I think you can see like over here, um, if you go to thick meal and then you search for thick meal webinars over here, you can see, um, like upcoming webinars, uh, why I don't see my, I'm gonna see you again on second of of October, but here don't have. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah. Um, I'm not so sure, but again, um, guys, there there is a we we do have um Thick Mill Trader Club as well. Okay, um, me and my colleague will be. Um, uh, sending those like the trade signal. Let's say if I, if me and my team saw like the the potential, uh, trade setup, we will be sending to like VIP or Take Me to Trader Club. Okay, so um, you can if you have the account with the Take Me already. Okay, you you can just you know talk to the support that you want to join um the Take Me to Trader Club because me and my team she does one. We're gonna you know, send all the um trade setup if we see their potential to like you guys or if you guys have like any question or any like draw fee warranty or anything about trading, you also can talk to me as well. Okay. Um the deposit requirement, I'm not sure. Um you can just talk to the support. For example, like I don't know whether they have changed those like the deposit already, but let's say if you already have the account or you're already if you are a um loyal customer, 
or whatsoever, I, I'm not so sure you can tell other the support, okay, because I'm not sure about that. And then if you were to add in to the um Dig Me Trader Club, you can just talk to me, okay, or you can talk to my team, or you can talk to, like, to us, like, how to draw Fibonacci, whether you draw Fibonacci, collect, or not, you can just ask us, and that me and my team will answer the question over there, okay. Mm. Okay, guys. Um, all right. I think this will be end of my um webinar for today. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Okay, I appreciate that. Hope to see you guys again in the next webinar. That will be um next Monday. Okay, I think next Monday they're gonna be live trading section. It's maybe gonna be me or my um colleague. Okay, because usually for the thick meal they're gonna be like alternate like. Uh, education and then a week later they're gonna be the live trading session okay all right you're welcome okay happy trading guy take care see you again next monday okay bye for now